In this Madden 22 breakdown, we're going to be talking about the curls. Curls get the girls. We're going to talk about the curl concept in Madden and why it is important because of the fact that way the most people play this game, at least at this point in the year, they're really not leveraging the power of two yellow zones on two sides of the field in addition to two curl flat zones to be able to play curls. Most people aren't trying to stop curls. They're trying to stop crossers. They're trying to stop digs. Trying to stop corners. So today we're going to talk about the curl route and how you can create the perfect curl in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below. It's free to subscribe to the channel. We're going for 30,000 subscribers. Uh, I, Lord willing, we're going to be able to do that by Madden 23 season. So really excited about that. I think it's going to be awesome for the channel. We've come so far in just about a year and a half. You guys have been amazing. Your support has been awesome. And thank you for that. Also wanted to let you know about my Patreon. It's the best way to support me as a creator. Um, I started a, I started doing this uh, basically bivocationally. Uh, I part-time do YouTube, and I'm also a part-time church planner. And so your support helps go towards um, everything and allowing me to be able to do that and just be able to give back into the community and to be able to give back to the local church. So everything that you guys um, support me with has been a huge blessing to me as well as the rest of my family. But the bottom line is what I hope is that the Patreon is a huge blessing to you. I hope it's helpful to you. And the whole point of it is to try to give you all of the tools that you need to become a better Madden player. So we've got 18 offensive and defensive ebooks available in the Patreon membership. We've got a, over a hundred uh, update videos where we actually give you little tweaks or little nuances or little twists or little uh, improvements to those ebooks as the game has been patched or changed over the course of several months. Um, there's over a hundred of those in there. And then we've also got every every new ebook that we release, which we release content and new ebooks and stuff like that. We typically release new material of some type in the Patreon at least once a week normally multiple times a week so the cool part is by being a member of the patreon you get access to all of that stuff for just ten dollars a month so if you want to sign up for that there's a link in the description below where you can sign up it's only ten dollars super super cheap and it's just a great way um, to get better at the game so if you want to sign up for that again there's a link in the description let's talk about the curls so curls get the girls right uh, curl routes are important and you can honestly do this from any play you don't have to have a certain play to do this from. Um, not, it's not going to matter. So um, just any play you want um, because the curl is basically a hot route that we're going to utilize. So what we're going to talk about here today is what do you do whenever you're facing a significant amount of double flatting and, 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 and also in that you're facing five-yard curl flats. Okay, so typically people are going to play five-yard curls or five-yard um, clouds and they're gonna do double flat. So they've got a deep flat to take away the crosser, an underneath flat to take away the out route. So what we wanna do in that situation is throw a curl, okay? Curls get the girls, okay? So how do we wanna do this? Well, it's really not that complicated. Um, what we wanna do within this concept is very simple. Uh, what I like to do anyway is very simple. So we're gonna curl, or we're going to put the outside receiver in the trips on a smart routed out route. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna do two things. It's gonna pull every outside zone. So like a flat, a cloud flat, a, a hard flat, a curl flat, a seam flat, it doesn't matter, it's gonna pull it out. Then what I like to do is take this receiver here, Miller, and put him on a hitch. So you see there is the hitch. And then I like to take Chris Godwin, and now this is where it gets a little interesting. You can kind of, this is where you can have some flexibility within your offense. What I typically will do with Chris Godwin is put him on a curl. Now, that's a three-level approach, and what you'll see is, again, no zone in the game. Pretty much no zone. We'll guard Scotty Miller. Most importantly, if you think about the way most people play their Mabel, the underneath zones are purples. They're either seam flats or they're curl flats. So you see, it looks like that. Okay. Now why I like this is because the user is going to be inclined to go guard Chris Godwin, but in reality, we're actually targeting Scotty Miller here. So what you'll see, again, Scotty Miller is open. The curl is also open, but I want to tackle another zone that um, is very popular and something that people are going to use against this is a vertical hook. So if they have a vertical hook and a three rec hook, two really good yellow zones, what you'll notice is the vertical hook will suck uh, to the inside curl and you can throw that route to Scotty Miller. 
Now, um, something else you can do with this, with uh, Evans, is if you wanted to put him on a smoke, I want to show something else about this. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to go back to that cover two beater and show you what that looks like again. But this time, we have a smoke screen instead of a smart routed out route. I want you to look at this. You're going to notice that the hard flat will come pull out, pull out significantly better and the hitch is a little bit more open. So the point is you can use a smoke. You can also use a smart routed out. They're actually better depending on the situation. So if you're getting a vertical hook, it's much better to do the smoke. But if you're getting curl flat like this right here, then let me show you why this is a little bit different. So let's say I have a smoke and I have all those zones just like this. Watch the curl flat from that linebacker. You're going to notice that he's going to play. Um, he actually does suck outside a little bit more than I thought he would. Sometimes he will play that hitch. Okay. That's just, that's just, you know, again, you can take my advice or not, but that's just what I've observed. When you put a seam flat out there, especially if you have a five yard zone drop on him, he can sometimes play this hitch. Just like that right there. See that? Now I'm in a position where I have to throw that and I'm actually going to lose yards. So that's something that you need to be aware of. So whether you want to put a smart routed out route or you want to put a smoke, that's up to you. Okay. Now I wanted to kind of move to another point of the video or another concept within this that I actually really like. And that is curl routes that are on the numbers. And that's where I wanted to kind of spend a little bit of time. Curl routes that are on the numbers are the best curl route in the game because it puts the defense in a position where they have to have a very specific type of coverage to be able to even have a chance to guard it. So what I like to do with this, and this is going to kind of help your coverage beaters, is something like this. Basically, we're going to be placing something like this, and we're going to have these underneath zones. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to curl Scotty Miller, okay? And then what you're going to do with uh, with Evans is you're going to zig him. So you have a zig and a curl. On the back side of this, we're going to go ahead and flat Gronkowski, and we're going to curl Godwin, and we're going to put him on the numbers as well. We're going to snap the ball right there. Now you have two on the numbers curls, and if you look at this, you see that Scotty Miller is absolutely wide open. Absolutely wide open. So now what I want to do is, again, walk you through these zone coverages so you understand what the defense is going to have to do. So let's say they have two curl flat zones. Okay, that's probably the best coverage they can have for something like this. So again, you want the curl on the numbers. That's the most important piece in this, or just outside the numbers. Look to that left side. You notice the curl flat doesn't do anything because it's on the numbers. If it was outside the numbers, the curl would be much better. Let me explain. So I'm going to go to that setup right there, and I'm going to go to this setup over here. What you're going to notice about this, so I've got curl flats. I'm going to cover three zone. Watch the left side of the field. The curl is now outside the numbers. Look what the curl flat does. He actually will come back. See how he started to come back to the curl? He'll come back and kind of bait it, and oftentimes you'll throw picks. Um, so that's one of the reasons why you really want to think about calling this calling this version of it two reasons why it's a motion setup, which is really good um, because it does force the defense to have to change how they defend it. It's also really good because, again, you're stretching the defense uh, horizontally. So you see backside here, wide open route to Godwin. Okay. Now, this is why I like to say just outside of the numbers. If you noticed on the left side, the vertical hook from the slot corner does play that curl a little, like fairly decently. But on the right side, what you should see is the vertical hook. Most of the time they don't have one, but if they do have a vertical hook over here, what you should see is because we're just outside the numbers, see how that vertical hook sucks inside and I can hit that route to Chris Godwin on the numbers. So that's a great little perspective to have with this. Now let's say for example that you're getting uh, man to man. So in the, in the world at which you're getting a man to man concept, that's where you really want to target the motion curl. So the motion curl against man is going to really mess them up because they can't get a press on it. And because they can't get a press on it, it really does help a lot in terms of its ability to beat that coverage. So the curls um, are as complicated and as simple as you want them to be. It really truly is. So I love the curls on the numbers. And you can kind of do multiple things off of this as well. For example, um, one of the things that I really like to do within this within this in particular play is I'll typically take 
the slot like Miller and hitch him and then I'm gonna have a curl and I'm gonna have a out so you see I've got a curl flat on the right with a tight end post and now this really can mess with a lot of coverages so curls get the girls and when they start running a lot of Mabel these are the kind of routes that you want to have on your field to be able to take advantage of what the defense is doing. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope that this was helpful. This is how you can use curls to absolutely obliterate the defense in multiple different ways. We could spend hours talking about this concept. This is one of my favorite routes, one of the most underrated routes in Madden 22 by far. So if you're not using curl routes, this is your public, um, your, your public manifesto to start because they do help a lot, especially against the Mabel coverages, which you're probably going to see. And primarily, curl on or just outside of the numbers really does mess with the vertical hooks and the curl flats, which are the two number, the top two zones you're going to see uh, this year. So thanks for watching the video. Remember, if you want to join the Patreon, it's only $10 a month. It gets you access to every Madden 22 ebook that I have. It gets you access to every uh, exclusive update that I have put out over the year. And it also gets you access to any new ebooks that I will release while your membership is active and any new updates I'll release while your membership is active. So it's only $10 a month and you can cancel whenever you want. If you want to sign up, head on down to the description of the video, click the link that I put down there and you can go get signed up right now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.